Hi everyone, uh, Sara here, back with a bit of a cold, but I just had to show you guys something. I uh, went out for a couple of minutes yesterday to actually um, to give away some stuff at a, you know, every year I go through the seller and stuff, so <laughs> had to get rid of a, a couple of stuff to share at the shop. And yeah, while I was there, took a cup of coffee and of course went through the records. Uh, you know, sometimes you find something for yourself and for someone else. But uh, one of the few records I found was this one. Anthony Kwakupa. His surname is actually misspelled there. It, uh, supposed to be two A's. Uh, Rebop, uh, the second album on Philips. Now this one I paid 10 Swedish crowns for. Uh, yeah, that's about one euro. Um, a bit over a dollar or so. And it is a classic. It's a really really rare Swedish record. Now, that's Jan Janne Schaffe there, and this was recorded in 71, and this was released in 73. Has a lot of cool people on it. This is kind of a, a jazz, funky record with some, of course, with some prog influences as well. And I checked out this one because um, my beautiful our beautiful Rega P P324 in the lime green color um, has uh, since yesterday been yeah giving me a hard time you know I think there's something wrong with uh, some chords inside uh, or the pickup in some some way and yeah I'm really sad about that I have a second turntable but it's kind of crappy so I checked out the value of this one as I came home and yeah I tried to listen to my Rega but it only plays on in one speaker <laughs> right now I don't know why but uh, it sounds great it's in the vinyl is like in mint condition uh, and the value of this is anything from uh, 1,600 Swedish crowns you you kind of take away one, one zero there in the end and a little bit more money but yeah that's pretty much but let's say uh, around two three hundred dollars is this uh, going for in good condition and yeah as you can see it's pretty good has slightly ring web still glossy so my plan is to hopefully I don't have a or more worse cold is to trade in this one uh, at a friend shop he's closing his shop so he really is keen to get this one. I really like the album, but yeah. I have a lot of records and I really need an extra turntable. And also my cassette deck has collapsed. <laughs> but it was a cheap one, so... Uh, my plan is kind of to hopefully trade in this one to uh, uh, another turntable. And maybe cassette deck. Um, yeah, let's see what I found. Uh, what I find then I'll I'll cut this video into the new material hopefully I will be showing next what I traded in but yeah just had to you know show this one before maybe it's gone and it yeah I need to show the the vinyl too it's glossy the Philips label there so yeah 
Really looking forward to checking that out. And check this album out. It's a great jazz funk album. Okay, hopefully, hopefully we'll be back. Hi! Good folks, I'm back. Uh, this is another day and yes, I managed to uh, trade in that LP which I just showed mm, for uh, a backup turntable which is quite nice. Uh, yeah, I, we had the Riga P324, the lime green one, but the needle or earth thing into the tone arm, arm on that one uh, simply decided to call it quit. So had to get a new one fast. And the other one we have is a cheap plastic one, but this is very heavy. This is an Ariston Q deck. It's a British turntable and I have just now managed to kind of make the I th what I think is a good uh, setting with the needle weight and the tracking force and such so uh, it's a semi-automatic table so it starts when you lift the tone arm to the plate and stops right there so I hope it will be good. The needle is just an ordinary autophone, which is quite hard because on the other one we had a Semico Blue Point Special Evo 3, so yeah, <laughs> that's a bit of a better needle, but yeah, it sounds good. It will do until the other one is okay again, and I'll keep this deck anyway and play in another room. Okay, so that is one of the stuff I got. Also picked up this box <laughs> with a Yamaha KX500 stereo cassette deck inside a brand new, uh, never been used, um, with a new remote and everything. Works fine. Now has had the instruction manual and everything so really nice right now I am playing the cassette I showed in my last video Billy Cobham Spectrum and it sounds great damn it sounds great now here it is everything works just fine with this let me sip here so you can see all the meters are fine, uh, it's sparkling new, just a little bit dirty inside there, otherwise yeah I cleaned it up real good and it sounds great actually. Even this tape which is quite worn and old, it's from 73, it sounds good. Also I played some new stuff, quite new tapes and it yeah the sound was amazing so much better than my old uh, ones I've had about four or five now in a couple of years so I hope this one lasts really long as it is new uh, really nice to pick this up uh, natural sound and <laughs> stereo cassette deck my first Yamaha stereo cassette deck so really nice uh, the other stuff is my old old setup okay Apart from that, is I got I got a few records also. Let me show you here. You threw in a few records. So the only thing I did buy today was just sleeves actually. So didn't spend a lot of money. Pick this up and a, a, a just a few others uh, for. Um, uh, people I know but yeah the dark crystal one of my favorite films and uh, now I mentioned that another one I'm still looking for labyrinth with David Bowie hoping to find that very very soon uh, but this is really cool never seen this actually need to take off the plastics you can see uh, the this is raised here on the cover really cool Really cool movie if you haven't seen this one by uh, with Jim Henson uh, who did the Muppets. 
it's a quite dark fantasy uh, movie. Really nice pickup. Uh, never seen this on on vinyl, so really cool. Also, of course, a copy of a German copy of Buhansson, Lord of the Rings. Uh, Music über uh, Herr der Ringe. There. Now this is a really cool, different cover. I have the the American pressing, uh, American version, and the Swedish on Silence Records because I love this album so much. Um, and it's quite hard to find all the versions here. I still need to pick up a couple of Swedish ones uh, presses for. Yeah, people like uh, Ramses and such, but yeah, uh, when you find them, they are rarely in good shape, actually, the Swedish ones. But yeah, this time it was for me the, the German one, as I've never seen this one in real life. So, he threw that in as well, and this one is a really cool... Uh, <laughs> um, record uh, the first of their child songs Barnlåtar Holling Worth Jungman this is um, what are they called now yeah this is the first album uh, by them uh, I I have their second one which is a bit messed up and this one is a bit scratched but you hardly ever find this one this is kind of 70s child songs, but they are very prog ones. Um, classic ones like uh, Skaffa Cat uh, and uh, Älgarna protesterar. Uh, demonstrerar, sorry. <laughs> the moose are demonstrating. And yeah, see all the titles there. Jag är ett litet brev. Har du grävt någon grop idag? Have you dug any? Uh, sorry, I'm a bit tired now because I am sick. So, have you dug any? Uh, anything? Blah blah blah. Anyway, uh, here it says I want my vitamins. Anyway, he threw that in uh, as well, and a video copy of a uh, just. A cheap uh, maxi single I found with reggae. Um, I picked this up just because uh, I saw it was a dub mix here, so I don't have a lot of Jimmy Cliff uh, from yeah, the late material, so I had to pick this up. Any reggae I found cheap, pick it up. Uh, so that's what I got a turntable. A new cassette deck, a couple of records. That is what I got for um, that album. So I'm really happy about that. Um, you know, I really wanted to kind of keep the uh, keep the record because it sounded so good. You know, I really liked that fusion type of music. But yeah, I just had to trade it in because I need, uh, really need a functioning good turntable and also new cassette deck so I can spin um, all those death metal tapes that I got from from Shad. Um, in the beginning of me in the VC and of course I'm, I'm picking up a couple of good ones uh, in the last few days or a week here now uh, for myself so really cool also I collect <laughs> I know I have children records I collect kind of cassette uh, tapes old ones which uh, kind of similar to ones I listened to when I was a kid you know that has music or stories you know Tintin Asterix and Obelix and all that kind of stuff so that I can listen to when I want to, when I want to go to sleep. <laughs> or not. Anyway, um, hope you liked this in the background. I don't know if you can hear any music now, it's quiet, but yeah, I'm pretty much 
shout, shouting a bit over in the the camera because <coughs> I have some kind of infection in my lungs or something. But anyway, really nice to show you that. Um, hope I can listen to my stack there and yeah, hello to everyone. I'll soon do VCLT video, so see you soon. Bye.